How does somebody get to form a, a club to take part in one of uh, these leads? What's the structure for people to get involved with playing match poker through the IFP? What we've done is that we've developed a plan with all the rules, regulations and structure of match poker and we're now working with our individual national federation members to form match poker and match poker leagues in their country. We're working with media partners so that we have both media partners and broadcasters because match poker is also very exciting as a television prospect because it tells a story. There's so much more information and data and interest to when people are playing the same hands, getting the comparison, getting the changes. So each national federation has been given a blueprint to develop memberships, clubs within their own country, to organize events and tournaments at a national level so that they can then provide us the winners to come through to the regional and world events. Patrick, poker is a game that used to be played with cards printed on pieces of laminated uh, cardboard. Match poker is changing this. Tell us how technology is fundamentally altering this game. Well, when we started developing the concept of match poker, we took the London Eye and we actually organised it in the London Eye. But the problems of actually preparing packs and packs and packs of cards in terms of uh, in a standard format was an extraordinarily difficult thing for us to do. And also the data, the information, how, how all the hands are being played, to have that data simultaneously meant that we needed to come up with some sort of new approach to it. And technology as it is today, that we've decided to use the smartphone so what we provide when a player comes to the table is a smartphone their cards are delivered to that smartphone we have all the information the records to how they play we can log all of the hands we can then compare all the hand and the hand ranking so really what we've done is with match poker is brought poker up to date technically up to date and it's akin to people being used to playing poker using technology and that itself has an impact on its uh, value as a television product Yes, because as I said, the interest of match poker means that there is something going on all of the time. There's a story being told. Um, I know that live sport is still going to be the exciting thing for television, and poker hasn't been exciting just looking at people sitting around a table not understanding what they're doing. But with the data and information that match poker provides, it makes a very, very exciting and interesting television product. And we've got a lot of interest with our National Federation's members with television around the world wanting to support the whole concept of the match poker and the match poker leagues. What are the implications of match poker for the world of, uh, world of sponsorship? We've seen there's some tremendous uh, connectivity uh, which is being created here. What sort of interest have you experienced from the, from the brand community, people who might otherwise be involved in sponsoring football, rugby, other sports? The interesting thing, and it's a bit like my own background with football and with athletics and Olympics, is that poker has never been looked upon as being an interesting medium because it's got that casino gaming gambling image. Because we can actually show that we can access a lot of uh, intelligent, young, bright uh, opinion formers because you know people that play poker around the world are very interesting. They are intelligent, they are bright, they are very much into the um, trend of things, that this is going to be a very attractive opportunity for sponsors, for partners to actually embrace poker as a medium. So we see a lot of interest in terms of companies coming to support it that are unrelated to the poker industry. Ultimately, what are your ambitions for uh, match poker? What are the IFP's ambitions for match poker and where it should sit within the overall spectrum of international sports? I think uh, our objectives is to make match poker a sport that is played on the global stage that has good, strong national competition, that isn't just competition at, at one level, it can work in all levels, whether you're architects, whether you're engineers, whether you're in the medical profession, there's tremendous variation of opportunity with your sports people, different sports competing against different sports, but using poker, the mind sport. So we see a very strong national structure with leagues, with clubs, with cities, with a lot of recognition. And then just like football, there will be lots of international competition, regional competition and the big world event to when the nation will be looking at the nations coming through to the world event. So within four to five years I would see poker being a, a truly established major sporting presence on the global stage.